Hello and welcome. In my previous video, I showed you how to boot up FreeNAS for the very first time inside a virtual machine and how to con configure the web administrative console for the very first time. Now I just wish in this video to walk through very briefly the various options that are available in the administrative web console. So the very first option here on the top bar is accounts. And here you can see all of the various groups that have been configured by default. I have not configured any of these. These are configured by default when you boot up FreeNAS for the very first time. And these are the users that have been configured by default. Okay. Um, that's fine. Next system. So again, lots of information here. Core information, the FreeNAS build, my platform. These are the details of my own personal PC. Um, general. So you can protocol configurations, IP addresses, ports, and so on. Um, web GUI, HTTP to HTTPS redirect, as it happens, is enabled. I configured these settings here as part of the initial configuration in my last video, and so on. The, the boot process is what, um, what scripts are run automatically at boot time, um, and so on. There's many advanced details. You can configure an outgoing email server such that FreeNAS operating system can email whomever you configure to be email with notification events and so on. Okay, um, so lots of information. I'm not going to go through them all. It's just to show you briefly what's available. So tasks, we can we can actually add a cron job. So we can enable init shutdown scripts, um, or sync tasks, smart tests. And as I say, I configure cron jobs, and they're quite detailed. If I click on the add cron job, as you can see, we can specify the user to run the command. We can specify the command itself. We can give a brief description that's human readable, so to speak. We can choose how often it's going to be run or the exact minute that you intend to run it on. Um, every end hour, we can actually select the hour, every end day or select the actual day and so on. Okay, redirect information that is uh, we just redirect the output to standard output, standard error, and so on. So it's quite powerful. Um, on their network, we can configure all of the networking information, um, um, interfaces. I suppose the key information is the network summary here. Um, so this is the IP address indeed of my console, as you can see up here. Um, and the DNS of my local subnet is 192.168.0.1, which is also the same IP address of my default gateway that FreeNAS will use to access the internet where required, and so on. In storage, you can you have a volume manager here, so we can add new volumes and so on, and it's very powerful. Um, import disks, import volume, view disks, perform snapshots, replication tasks, and so on. Okay. Um, directory, again, all the various directory services that you can set up if you so choose. Um, sharing, if we want to enable uh, share a folder uh, onto an Apple device, if we wish to share a folder using NFS to Unix device, indeed share a folder to a Windows client, to Windows PC, or to enable WebDAV, which is HTTP access, very, very nice. Or indeed, block iSCSI access, fantastic. Um, if we click on services, we can see a list of all the services that FreeNAS provides. So again, this is for sharing to an Apple client, Dynamic DNS, FTP, iSCSI, um, and NFS for sharing to a Unix client. And indeed, now Apple and Windows clients also support NFS. SMB is the new format that Windows uses for its own shares to share to a Windows client. Um, we can enable SSH. So we can actually SSH into FreeNAS operating system and perform commands. In fact, while I'm talking about SSH, no harm to mention now FreeNAS is a really nice feature and it's available on the left-hand side. And just to point out, most of the options on the left-hand side are pretty much identical to what you can access via the top bar. But there are some items available on the left-hand side that are not available via the top bar. And one of them is the shell. So let me click on shell here. And this does something really nice. This opens up within the browser a terminal shell that we can run directly on the FreeNAS operating system. This is really nice. 
Um, so instead of having to SSH in to perform a command, we can simply select shell here, and then within the shell, type whatever command we need to type. That's a lovely feature. Um, so just to make you aware of that. Um, and so on. You can install plugins, and there's various other options that are beyond the scope of this um, video. Just briefly, reporting details. You detailed uh, reporting uh, facilities. Your CPU, disk usage, memory, uh, network, partition, and so on. It's very, very detailed. FreeNAS, frankly, is a fantastic product. Um, that's all I wish to say in this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a shared folder, for example, to a Windows client. But the same process will apply for a Unix or an Apple client as well. Okay, thank you very much.